This RTX 3070 is here to meet a 12 year old ThinkPad. Wait, no. Four GPUs, two Nvidia, two AMD, and three different kinds of adapters. There's Express Card, there's mini PCIe like for Wi-Fi cards. Can you run a 3070 off of a Wi-Fi card slot? I don't know. And then this is probably most likely to work well. This is M.2 like for PCIe SSDs. I think we gotta start with Express Card. This is the only interface that's not going to require disassembling the computer. So maybe there's an argument to be made that this could actually be practical. We got USB flash drive through the PCIe card, through the adapter, through the Express Card interface, powered by a full-sized desktop power supply. This is actually working. This video file is being played off that flash drive. I am kind of surprised that this actually works. Let's get the graphics card working. I tried to get the 750 Ti to work, crashed the computer every single time. I tried to get the R9 270X to work. This thing booted, but I got errors in device manager. I don't know what was wrong with it. It said it was out of resources or something. I even plugged in the 3070. This booted as well, but I got code 43 in device manager. I have no idea how to fix that. What finally worked is this stupid low power AMD graphics card. I don't even care to test this thing. This is the most boring graphics card ever. I'm running Far Cry 2 benchmark just to get some numbers, but let's just consider Express Card a failure. Express Card interface, not for graphics cards. We're gonna move on to the Wi Fi card slot. I wasn't expecting this to be the reason it doesn't work, but it turns out Lenovo whitelists their Wi-Fi cards, and apparently this is not an approved setup. Major Lenovo L for locking this stuff down. I guess we're gonna skip mini PCIe and go straight to these M.2 interfaces. Although this means I have to take apart my actually good laptop, and I really don't wanna break that thing. This, this should be interesting. Here goes nothing, I guess. I really thought this was going to work. The driver installer ran totally fine, but now I'm stuck with code 43 again. What is code 43? I've got the same setup now, but with the R9 from AMD. I have given up. None of this stuff works. None of it works. I put the stupid R7 in here, the tiny AMD low power, whatever card. Showed up right away. I installed the drivers in, it just works. We're testing an R7! I've got Task Manager up so you can tell that this is actually the R7 running the game, not the integrated graphics that's doing nothing. It's got some weird artifacts on the screen, but it is working. This graphics card, not inside the laptop physically, is running this game. Not very well. It's getting like 35 FPS, but I honestly don't think that this scenario is even the bottleneck. This card just sucks. It's 100% utilized. I've got my laptop reassembled, and it turns out Intel Iris Xe graphics, almost identical to that graphics card. We're getting an average of 36 FPS. Very, very similar. Uh, if you drive around though, it is less consistent. That was an advantage with the R7. I have learned nothing so far. BeamNG Drive runs almost identically whether it's on the stupid R7 or the Iris Xe integrated. Let's at least find out if there's any bottleneck with the adapter and put this R7 in a proper desktop and see if there's any performance improvement. I'm gonna go get Brandon. I put the graphics card back in Brandon. This is actually where I got the card originally. So this is its proper home. It's getting 36 FPS. So yeah, these adapters are not at all a bottleneck for that terrible graphics card, and this has been a massive waste of time. To be fair to these adapters though, they're not a scam. They do what they say. The lower bandwidth devices like this USB card and this ethernet adapter, they do work. The graphics cards are just kind of a nightmare. Across four cards with three different kinds of adapters and two different computers, the only thing I got working was a graphics card that could not outperform the integrated graphics in the laptop. Yeah, so maybe don't buy these things for graphics cards or let me know what I'm doing wrong in the comments. Either way, bye.